Um, hi, on this video we will be seeing on how to add loading and do the analysis for the whole structure. For adding loading, um, I'll be adding three types of loading, life load, death load and also wind load. Uh, to perform this, um, I'll be, you can click on load types over here and then um, you go to the nature and make you click on that and add and you can see uh, that load it has been added to your um, load types and go to nature and click on life and click on add and now life load have been added and the last one click on wind and add and now wind load has been added so you close this dialog box and you can see you can click on the type the type of load that you wanna uh, define and as assign one by one. Um, for the first um, load assigning, I'll be click uh, I'll be assigning the wind load. So for my design, my wind load will be coming towards the x direction, positive x direction, which is from here to here. You can see the um, the axis over here. It will be going uh, towards the positive y direction so my my wind load will be going to the towards the positive y direction so to do that make sure you click on wind and you go to load definition over here and once you open up the load definition dialog box you go to bar and you click on um, uniform load and since it's a positive direction towards y-axis you go to um, y-axis and assign the the wind load value um, following on your own assumption uh, according to the euro code for my assumption my my wind load will be 0 0.3 and click add and now manually you have to click on which at which place your loading will be so i'll be clicking all the um, elements at this section so i click on one by one over here um, column and the beams columns column column and this beam this column this column this column and this beam finally so now once you already assign the loading you can close the dialog box over here so now um, you you have to now I'll, I'll be assigning the live loading so click on live load and click on load definition and go to surface because my live load will be a, a uniformly distributed on a uniform slab so I'll be clicking on uniform polar load and my loading will be towards negative z axis because uh, my loading will be towards down so my loading will be downwards so it will be negative z go to your z axis and go to your x axis and assign negative uh, my loading for the roof area for the roof slab will be um, 0 0.9 kilonewton as you can see it's kilopascal so 1 kilopascal equals to 1 kilonewton so 0 0.9 kilonewton so I add and now I click on the slab that I would like to assign 0 0.9 uniformly distributed life load so for the second story I'll be having a life load of 2 kilonewton so I'll be clicking on the uniform polar load again and on this x-axis I'll be putting negative 2 kilonewton so add and I'll be clicking on this whole slab over here and my second my first story also will be having the same amount of load 2 kilonewton so I'll be clicking on this as well but for the ground floor I'll be having a section of um, garage so the garage slab will be having 
10 kN loading so um, the other part of the ground flow will be having um, 2 kN of loading so to have a different loading on a slab you can click on uniform polar load on contour um, first I would like to assign 10 kN for my garage and click on contour definition and click on here and you manually um, click on the slab that you would like to assign your 10 kN loading for your garage and over here so click on add and click on apply oops sorry um, it should be negative um, go back to your uniform polar load it should be negative because it's going from up to down so it be negative 10 control definition click on here so select your slab over here and uh, yeah over here so it's a square right now so click on add and apply so as you can see uh, 10 kN load has, has been assigned to this area which is my garage so um, the remaining area will be having 2 kN of load so I'll be clicking on uniform polar load on contour again so change this to negative 2 kN contour definition click on here so I select the area of having 2 kN of life load and add and apply click on the area and now as you can see it's already have been applied it, it the the um, the arrow will be smaller than compared to this arrow because this arrow is um, representing 10 kN and this arrow representing 2 kN and um, on top of the column will be having uh, 0.3 kN so close this um, open up the load definition to see all the newton uh, all the loads has been assigned to you to the whole to the whole structure over here so life load over here and for the dead load you do not you do not need to add a dead load because the dead load has already been assigned automatically um, so you do not need to assign that and if you click on the uh, if you unclick the structure type so you will see the the skeleton of the project uh, of the structure so you can clearly see the each loading so wind loading will be coming towards here life load will be coming all from the top so this one will be 10 kN 2 kN 2 kN and on top of the um, roof will be having 0 0.9 kN so the size of the arrow will be different to show you that the, the loading is different in size so now you have already assigned dead load, life load and wind load now you want to combine all these load into uh, ultimate limit state to do that you click on loading loads you click on loads and you click on manual combinations and combination type is ultimate limit state ULS, ULS and OK so you click on here make sure nature is all the um, load that has signed and click here and now you can see 1.35 for dead load 1.5 for life load and 1.5 for wind load all this is according to euro code that i have uh, selected at the starting of this project so now apply and close 
so once you combine all the um, loads now you have to analyze the structure so you can analyze the structure by clicking the calculation over here and the analyze, analyze will be running since it's a very um, simple design the anal analyze has no errors so as you can see the result FEM is available so let's say if you are facing any errors the common errors will be um, um, some materials has not been defined or some overlapping between materials and all those can be um, easily um, can be fixed so for me uh, I do not have any errors right now so that's a good sign so once you already um, calculated the whole analysis now you can see the result so you go to results over here and click on diagram for bars and you can now check the um, let's say you can check any moment that you want so let, let's say you want to check for y moment and apply so you can see the my moments over here let's say you want to see um, force and apply and you can see the force over here and you can also check on deformation and apply and all the deform deformation deformation will be uh, showing like so and you can also have you can also see the um, the value of those deformations if you go to parameters um, label definition and field and apply you can see all those uh, the the value as you can see this will be the highest and the rate the green one will be the minimum so the red one will be the maximum and you can also um, check on stresses over here let's say you want to check on s s max and you can check on bending as well you can apply you can see the maximum bending and stresses and yeah you can see one you can see all those uh, result from this diagram and dialog box and now um, all this is just a diagram so if you want a real um, table you can click on the tables over here and let's see if you want to find for forces and not all you click on ok and all the result will be showing over here so from here you can analyze and you can find out any uh, information that you would like to know about your structure that you have designed so that's all for this video um, the next video will be um, showing you how to uh, check on the reinforcement so thank you for now